Hari Om, I am Swati and I study in the 10th standard in Chinmaya Vidyalaya Vadadala. One day, I asked a group of people, how many of them think that they are equalists? 100% of the people put up their hands. Then I asked them another question. How many of you here think that you are feminists? A mere 5% put their hands up. This is exactly the reason why I'm here today. I want to speak on the topic why we all should be feminists. I realized a thing. The Chandrayaan-2 phase will pass. Who won the election race will pass. Who won the football cup craze will pass. But what won't pass is the sufferings of millions of women around this planet, which has gone on for centuries and which will go on for centuries unless someone takes action against it. And that's why I'm here today. Till the age of 10, you could not call me a feminist. I believed a woman's place is rightfully in the kitchen. This is because the society told me so, and my mind wasn't developed enough to ask them questions. But as I started growing up, I started realizing many things. I realized that my female counterparts and I are as smart as our male classmates. Then why is our role expected to be in the kitchen while they are out in the world making money? My male classmates were definitely physically stronger than me, but that didn't make me any weaker than them. I'm as emotionally strong and capable. Then why is my duty expected merely to give birth while they are expected to raise a family? The first time I voiced these questions was when I was 12 and I was called a feminist by, a by an elder who I respect a lot. But I can assure you it was not a compliment. I still remember the look of contempt on her face when she told me this, but that didn't stop me from being proud for fighting for the rights of my own gender. Fortunately, I am one of the lucky ones. The worst thing that has happened to me because of my gender is when a person who I respect very much told me, Swati, you do not need to work so hard in academics because when you grow up, you'll have somebody to depend upon. But sadly, this is not the case in many parts of the world. In Africa, some countries have a literacy rate of women of less than 11%. Education is the light of one's life, said Gandhiji. I personally got my sense of who I am through education. Sadly, in Africa, girls do not even attend school. We take school for granted because we come here every single day. In China, 80% of the women have reported sexual harassment at least once in their lifetime. Eight out of every 10 women have reported sexual harassment. So you will say, these are developing nations. Let's take a case of a very developed country, United States of America. Since 1998, 18 million women have been raped in their lifetime. Imagine you and your classmate write an exam. Both of you write the same answers for a question. He gets the entire marks for that question, but you don't. That is, you feel oppressed. That's exactly how we feel when we don't get equal pay for the same job. Now coming to the point, why we, the present generation filled with brilliant and intelligent young minds, do not like to be called feminists. There are three main reasons for this. The first reason is because feminism is negative. People associate feminists with negative people. This is not the case. One day I asked a boy, is he a feminist? He told me, definitely not, because feminists always fight. Imagine you are a South African citizen during the apartheid. You are going home after a very long day at work in a bus. Suddenly, a white man appears out of nowhere demanding your seat. You refuse. The conductor forcibly lifts you up to allow the white man to sit. Would your reaction be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, or will you start screaming and shouting at the top of your voice? Obviously, the latter. This is exactly how we feel. You do not even take us seriously when we are all negative and fighting, then I don't think you'll take us seriously when we are positive and sweet. The second reason why people are not feminists today is because feminists go overboard. They fight for trivial matters. The most core example is the Shabrimala issue. In Kerala, women were not allowed to enter Shabrimala for centuries. Suddenly, the Supreme Court passed a law allowing women to enter. This 
made so many, this hurt many religious sentiments around the state. There were women who fought for entry into temple. Sadly, many people call these women feminists. That is absurd. Those women who fight for entry into a temple are not called feminists. They are called people with no job. Because a true feminist cares for things that are truly important, like guaranteeing education for the girls in Africa or stopping rape in America. We really couldn't care less if a woman is allowed entry into a temple. The third and the most common reason why people are not feminists today is because of the word itself. Patriarchy means a father is the head of the family and males are given more importance. Matriarchy means a mother is the head of the family. Sadly, people have derived a conclusion that feminism means superior rights for women. This is wrong. We have been oppressed for centuries. We have been denied equal political, political and social rights. We aren't going to start fighting for superior rights. We just want equal rights. The reason I need feminism today is not because women are denied entry into a temple. I do not need feminism because I hear sexist comments like, oh Swati, you're a girl every single day. I need feminism because when a 15-year-old girl is raped, it's considered her fault. I need feminism because there are millions of women around this planet who have the potential of becoming the next P.V. Sindhu, the next Mary Curie, the next William Shakespeare. But unfortunately, they are denied of their potential. I need feminism because I want all the girls around this world to achieve their potential. When I was practicing the speech, I told this to a very respected elder of mine. She told me, Swati, the speech is great, but there's a problem. If something happens to your family right now, who will go to the hospital, your brother or you? So I said, definitely my brother. She told me, Swati, that's exactly why feminism does not work in today's world. So I told her, that's exactly why we need feminism in today's world. Because you are scared if I go out, I'll be kidnapped or raped. And if the world were filled with feminists, this would not have been the case. That's why we need feminism in today's world. You may be oppressed, you may be called bad names, you may be even, even be frowned upon if you call yourself a feminist. But that doesn't matter, because change comes with very, very hard work. And once you fight for what you truly want, you become who you truly are. I am proud of being called a feminist, and so should you be too. Thank you.